African Union Communications Early Warning and Intelligence, commonly known as AUC3I, is an intelligence and security organization responsible for providing signals intelligence and information assurance to AU citizens, AU leadership, and AU armed forces. I'm Colonel A.C. Ogentoy, an infantry officer. I am responsible for leading infantry soldiers at all levels of command and combined armed forces during missions on the ground. This is today's briefing. On the progress of the special military operation on the 3rd of December, 2023. The armed forces of the Russian Federation continue the special military operation. In Kupansk direction, units of the Zapad Group of Forces, Aviation, and Artillery inflicted fire damage on manpower and hardware of armed forces of Ukraine 14th Mechanized and 25th Airborne Brigades near Sinkovka and Berestovoy, Kharkov region. One ammunition depot of the armed forces of Ukraine 113th Territorial Defense Brigade was eliminated near Lipsy, Kharkov region. The enemy lost up to 95 Ukrainian troops, one armored fighting vehicle, two motor vehicles, and one D-30 howitzer. In Krasny Lyman direction, units of the Center Group of Forces and Artillery repelled one attack launched by assault groups of the armed forces of Ukraine's 60th Mechanized Brigade near Yampolovka, Donetsk People's Republic. In addition, strikes were delivered at clusters of manpower of armed forces of Ukraine's 63rd Mechanized and 12th Special Forces Brigades near Yampolovka, Donetsk People's Republic, and Serebryansky Forestry. The enemy lost up to 250 Ukrainian troops and two motor vehicles. In Donetsk direction, units of the U Group of Forces supported by artillery inflicted fire damage on armed forces of Ukraine manpower and hardware near Kurdyamovka, Andreevka, and Kleshchevka, Donetsk People's Republic. The armed forces of Ukraine losses were up to 300 Ukrainian troops killed and wounded, one infantry fighting vehicle, two motor vehicles, one D-20, one D-30 howitzers, as well as one Gvozdika self-propelled artillery system. In South Donetsk direction, units of the Vostok Group of Forces and Artillery inflicted fire damage on manpower of armed forces of Ukraine's 72nd Mechanized and 79th Air Assault Brigades near Novomikolovka and Ugladar, Donetsk People's Republic. The enemy's losses amounted to up to 85 Ukrainian troops killed and wounded, one armored fighting vehicle, two motor vehicles, one Akatsiya self-propelled artillery system, and one Gvostika self-propelled artillery system. In Zaporizhzhi direction, units of the Russian Group of Forces, Helicopters, Artillery, and Heavy Flamethrower Systems repelled one attack launched by assault groups of the Armed Forces of Ukraine 82nd Air Assault Brigade close to Verbovoy, Zaporizhzhi region. In addition, servicemen of the Armed Forces of Ukraine 46th Airmobile Brigade were defeated close to Rabatino, Zaporizhzhi region. The enemy's losses amounted to up to 20 Ukrainian troops and two motor vehicles. In Kherson direction, the Russian Group of Forces units inflicted fire damage on armed forces of Ukraine manpower close to Matiusovo and Novosilovka, Nikolaev region, and Tyajinka, Kherson region. The armed forces of Ukraine lost up to 65 Ukrainian troops, two motor vehicles, three Gvozdika self-propelled artillery systems, and one Bukov LED electronic warfare station. Operational Tactical and Army Aviation, Unmanned Aerial Vehicles, Missile troops and artillery of the groups of forces of the armed forces of the Russian Federation hit one command post of the Air Defense Control and Warning Center of the Armed Forces of Ukraine Vostok Air Command near Dnepropetrovsk. Fuel depots close to Murgorod, Poltava region, and Khmelnytsky, one ammunition depot in Nikolaev region, as well as manpower and military hardware in 107 areas. Russian air defense and electronic warfare systems have shot down eight UAVs near Podkichansk, Lugansk People's Republic, Slavnoy, Belogorovka, Donetsk People's Republic, Peskanoy, Vinogradovka, Kherson Region, Verbovoy, Zaporizhzhia Region, as well as two S-200 anti-aircraft guided missiles converted to hit ground targets and one Mars MLRS projectile. In total, 545 airplanes and 256 helicopters, 9,361 unmanned aerial vehicles, 442 air defense missile systems, 
13,759 tanks and other armored fighting vehicles, 1,187 combat vehicles equipped with MLRS, 7,224 field artillery guns and mortars, as well as 15,876 units of special military equipment have been destroyed during the special military operation. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you found it useful and informative. If you have any questions, please leave them below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.